In this lesson, I'm going to cover some basic concepts of the Angular library. Let's talk about single page applications. I'm going to start by describing what the traditional way of making web applications is, and then I'll talk about the newer way, which is the single page application way, and it's what Angular is used for. So the traditional way is that you will have your website and in your web application, whenever you want to do something, example, you click on a button, um, you go to a certain section of your page, there's usually a request that goes to your server. In your server, you'll have a traditional MVC framework that will send you back a view, a, a full page for that new place where you want to go. And then once that received, your web browser will do a full page reload basically but it will be a full page uh, redirect it'll direct you to a new page basically and that will involve that everything in your page is being loaded again namely the menus the sidebars everything even though what you requested maybe only had to do with a small part of your page now in single web application single page applications you will do requests to your server but the responses are not an entire page. You're always on the same page. The response is going to be instead, usually a JSON object or HTML, could be XML as well. So you're not receiving an entire page each time that you do anything because that makes your web application just feels very slow. Uh, it's not It's not like you always have to use this approach, but a lot of times it's just nice to, this is the way the main web applications that you use work. They only reload, cert they only change certain parts of the page as data is received from the server. So AngularJS is a, is a framework for web applications created by independent developers and, and, and also with the big support of Google, maintained by Google today partly as well, and the community of course. It's an open source framework that addresses some of these challenges to create single page applications. It extends HTML so that it's more suitable to create this type of pages. And it also allows you to separate the views, the presentation, from the actual logic of your page. It is based in an architecture called MVC, which stands from Model View Controller. And let me explain you how that trans what that translates to in Angular. This is all happening on the client side, okay? So you will have, for example, a model, which will be... Models are basically variables, objects in JavaScript that could, can store any kind of information and you want to show this model, in this case information about a user, in a view. A view is what the person sees at the end, what the user will see. It's, what sh it's what's rendered on the page. So the glue between the two things is a service called scope and that all occurs in the controller. So basically the, what you usually do is that you will attach your models to your scope and your scope can be accessed by the by the view. You can you can show stuff that's available on your scope. An important concept here is that of data binding, which can occur both ways. That's why why you when you read about Angular, you hear you hear about you read about two-way data binding. Example: you're showing some model on your view, and that model changes on the models on the controller or anywhere. You can even do it on the browser's console. You change your data. The name of the person changed. The view will automatically uh, update. So that's one of the magic things about Angular. It's one of the reasons why everybody loves Angular. It's just because it's so efficient to work this way. And it also works the other way around. You can have a form that's linked to a, con to a model. And if you change the data on the form, it's also changing the actual model. And therefore, it's changing all the data on the other views that refer to that model. We will cover all of this in detail in the course. There will be lessons for each one of these topics and we'll really dig into this so that you can use it right away in your projects. Um, something about Angular is something called expression. So this is how you would show some stuff on your view by using the double curly brackets. And then there's also there are also directives which are, which are HTML elements that you'll add to your page and Angular knows what they mean. You can also create your custom ones. So for example, you could create a custom HTML element for a user profile and then just place it in different places of your app uh, as if it was a HTML code. But this will be linked to a controller and there'll be a, a lot of help but your logic behind. So I'm covering this all in a very abstract uh, 
way at the moment it's all a quick intro this is all gonna make a lot of sense once we start using it how to get angular you can just go to their homepage angularjs.org you can download from there directly if you click on download you'll also be asked if you want some of the addi additional modules to be included we'll use uh, the route one later on in the course um, you can also just get it from github and if you're a more advanced user and you use Bower, you can also include it using Bower or any other client-side package manager. Some of these new cool toys that are out there for some users who like to command, who like to use a lot of command line. The documentation here is your friend. Uh, make sure you keep this open when you're working with Angular. Read a bunch of stuff. Every time you get stuck, uh, you get stuck with something. Take a look. The, the answer might be there. It's a lot of examples. There's also the official community. There's a lot of people who will participate here and a lot of uh, people who are beginning with the framework um, post the, their errors here. So if you're having a particular error message or some, some sort of code uh, in, the, in the error message, you don't know how to debug it, where to find it. This is an excellent place. You might already find someone who's got the same question or you can ask it there. And a lot of people are gonna help you. So now it's time that we begin coding.